Hey everybody, welcome to week 20 of the NASCAR iRacing series here at Indianapolis. We're back after an off week, and uh, a lot has changed. We got a brand new build after the off week, and the car is just completely different. I mean, the car is a lot more drivable, tires fall off a lot quicker. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very interesting race to say the least. Uh, the Eldora Truck Race is actually going on right now, and I'm trying to watch this and uh, do my commentary at the same time, but uh, this is going to be a fun race, man. I mean, no matter whether it's sim racing or the real world, you know, Indianapolis is the pinnacle of American auto racing, and getting a win here would be huge. I would absolutely love to get a win here. We've got a pretty good starting spot. I think we can get the job done. I think I got a decent handle on uh, how this tire model works. But again, this is my first race with it, so who knows what will happen here. I actually put down a qualifying lap, but uh, I flubbed up the lap pretty bad, and I'm actually the last, uh, last place timed qualifier. So that's not very good, but... Uh, I'm a lot more confident in my uh, race setup than my uh, qualifying setup. I, I think we'll be okay here. I mean, I don't think this race is going to play out like a lot of the races in the last 11 or 12 weeks have. I think you're going to see a long run somewhere in the middle of this race. I could be wrong, though. You know, you never really know with this place. It, it's kind of a crapshoot as to... Uh, how to predict this race sometimes. It's going to be a two-stop race, regardless of what happens. Tire fall is going to be big here, as I already said. High speeds. Uh, it's going to be the name of the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Kind of short race, 80 laps, but uh, I believe we can get the job done tonight. I... I would really love to get a win here at Indy. It, it would it would be the highlight of my season by far if I were able to get a win here. So without further ado, uh, let's get this started. We're off deep speed too, so he definitely had a problem. I'll put it in the right gear and get this thing going. Hang on, I'll get out of the way once we sit down. That 11 car was blinking a ton in warm-up, and he's still blinking. He'll probably he just said he'll get out of the way though, but shouldn't be a problem. Let's get this thing underway. Those brakes a little bit, get a little bit of heat in those rotors. Pace cars off, be ready. And there we go. Green. And already we're going three wide. It looks like. So, you know what, I'm not even getting involved in that. Outside. Definitely gotta gotta outside. be on the inside to have the advantageous line here at ND. Outside. And we gotta turn this momentum around from the last few weeks. So the last few weeks in this series have been real bad. And you might notice something else with the new build. Backfires, a lot of it. <laughs> kind of a neat little feature they added. So I'm just trying to save my tires here. Just trying to learn everything we can about this new tire in a race setting. Gonna break a bit early here. Oh, I had to break real early there. Those guys in front of me got on the brakes super early. Not trying too hard yet. Just trying to get a feel for it. I don't think you're going to see a, a big caution fest race sure. like you have for the for the last few weeks on these on these kinds of tracks. The car is a lot grippier. It's a lot easier to uh, control the car with this newest version of the new tire model. A lot of people saying the cars are very, very tight now, and I kind of noticed the same thing, actually.
Although I got super loose in qualifying with my qualifying setup, uh, that's kind of a different story. In race trim, the cars are just super tight. Not really a big fan of that, but I'm sure we can figure this out. You don't want to go ahead and go ahead and go, man. I'm just going to ride here. Tire saving is going to be the name of the game. The tires fall off very fast now. Although my car is a little floaty on uh, corner exit, but I wanted it like that. I think that's what you kind of have to do here to be fast at Indy. To me, the important thing at this track is somebody gets super loose in front of us. Uh, to me, the important thing at this track is if you have to sacrifice uh, corner entry and the middle of the corner to be fast on corner exit, then you gotta do it. Corner exit here is just so important because of the super long straightaways here. You gotta get corner exit right here at Indy. And drafting too. Drafting super, super important here at Indy. High speeds and long straightaways will do that. And, you know, I just caught a bit of that apron there. Good save one. And I uh, got super Thank loose. You. We got pretty good pace here, I think. Just gotta take our time tonight and uh, do what we can. These guys are breaking real early. I think that seven car is holding everybody up right now in this little pack. Yeah, my car feels way better than yeah, these guys on corner exit. Run here. Can't quite suck up to them, but we'll figure this out sooner or later. Definitely faster than these guys on corner exit. It's all about just finding a way around them right now. Still getting settled in here. Very hard to pass here, obviously. Yellow, yellow. There we go. Like kind of was expecting there. that. Like the guy behind me got loose and spun out, and I was all side way too. See, the, ca the cars seem a lot looser in, actu in an actual race setting than they were in testing. Uh, we're going to pit here and see what this tire wear is like. I know we got a good car. Just got to try and uh, figure out what we need here on a long run. Because I have a good feeling we're going to see a long run a little later tonight. Pace car, metal backstretch, guys. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and change four tires, no adjustments just yet. That run really wasn't long enough to properly judge the car. You know, a little patience goes a long way. So, we'll, uh, get four new tires and see what we can do here on this restart. I'm looking back at my, uh, TV. They're under caution at Eldora, apparently. <laughs> it's a bit smaller turnout okay, than I expected, I think, time. probably because of the Eldora race being on TV and people wanting to watch that, but uh, usually we get pretty good turnouts here for uh, Indy, but it's, it's, this is more kind of a, a typical turnout for this race. I think eight splits tonight when I was expecting uh, 10 or more. Uh, 
It's all good. Pitting about the middle of the pack here. So I see my uh, pit guy and we'll go ahead and change those four tires and get some extra fuel. Wheel straight, foot on the brake. Not a good pit stop. Try to beat these guys out. So I not lose too many positions here on pit road. Uh, well, that wasn't that bad. So I guess we'll see at the restart. Well, lights on the pace car are out. We've made it back to the north chute. That means it's almost time to go racing again. So, uh... Just going to continue the uh, strategy that we were already on. Just going to take our time and try and learn everything we can about this tire model. And try to figure out what we need to maybe pick up the victory here. Been saving a little bit of fuel under caution. I don't know if, if it's going to help or not or if it's even going to be necessary. But we'll figure this out sooner or later. So here we go. Focus now. One lap at a time. Pace car is off. Awesome. Be ready. Not the best restart from me. Green, green, green. Get behind the pace car. Outside. You should have the advantage. This line headed into turn two. Clear. Good job. Did hear him say clear. Didn't get a very good run off of turn two, but I'm not I'm not too worried about position right now. Just trying to get settled in. Go there. Clear low if you need it. Inside. Well, here comes the freight train. I said I was I said I wasn't clear concerned about position, but now I'm going to get run over by everybody. Go there. Go there. You're clear, clear. Well, that wasn't a good idea. Inside. Tried to uh, block the run there and wasn't a good idea. Good job. Inside. I saw him dive to the bottom and I still there. Still there. was way too passive there, in my opinion. Still inside. Go ahead, Todd, if you want to go from the garage. Still inside. See if we can outbreak these clear. guys Good into job. the corner. We were able to do it. We'll get some of these spots back, maybe. I I know I know how hypocritical I am when I say I don't want to lose. I'm not too worried about position, but then I try and fight these guys super hard. But you know. You never really want to lose positions. You're kind of forced at times, in my opinion, to give up positions. You can get some of these spots back, I think. Oh. Big check up in front of us. I'm getting big time loose there. In the middle of the corner. I got a little bit of damage. The thing you definitely want to do in the corners here is you want to arc it. I think this is one of the few ovals where there's a very clear, like, cut-in apex cut-out to every corner. Not so true on every oval, I find, but here, that's definitely true. It's especially not true on, like, the intermediate tracks, but here, that's definitely not the case. Breaking super early for these guys in front of me. That's one way I know I'm faster than a lot of these guys. Just can't go anywhere though. Kinda loose there. Following a little too close, I think. 
in the middle of the corners, that is. Definitely want to try and put those left side tires below the white line if you can. I didn't that time, but I gotta try and be more consistent with that. I think I definitely have a better line than these guys in front of me. Well, like I said, it's just so hard to pass here. Just gotta wait for the right drafting opportunity and try and do it on the uh, straightaways if we can. I think that's the best time to uh, try and make a pass. Oh, man, look how much faster we are than the 17 to the entry of the corner. I just can't get to him. We're pulling away from the 23, but we're catching the 17, but we can't make a move just yet. There comes that arrow push when I get too close to him. car definitely feels floaty off the exit of the corner. Trying to be as conservative with the tires here as I can, too. Hoping the fall-off will uh, play a role if we get a long run here. Tire management, rather, will play a role, hopefully. Maybe we can take a gamble and maybe try and get some track position if there is a caution. Just trying to think of uh, certain things here. And some weird graphical bug going on with the uh, spoilers, I guess. Not sure what that is about. I mean, look how much we're beating the 17 on corner exit. They just can't pass him. Even with a good giraffe like this, just can't do it. I can see the outline of his spoiler, but... I think his spoiler should be black, obviously. Something's not right there. No problem. Gotta wait for the right drafting opportunity. Well, we had a slightly better run, this could have been it. But we're gonna have to wait on it a little bit. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. He's going real wide in the corners here. I know I can get him. With the right opportunity, we can definitely get him. And maybe try and catch back up to the rest of the top ten here. track position just so important here and I had to check up a ton for him there or oh, I was gonna run into him that's really really bad tried to break a little later there and so we're getting a little tight
Got a little bit of that snap loose feeling through the center of the corner right now. Oh, man. I braked a lot later than him there, and I got a little nervous, actually. But I wasn't anywhere near him, and... I just couldn't make the move happen. Yeah, his tires are really starting to fall off or something, because he is totally missing the entry to the corner. Especially turn three every time. I, I know it's a little tight down there in turn three, but he's just m completely missing it every time. I think that's got to be where I make my move against this 17. Down in uh, turn three there. Well now he's got a rabbit directly in front of him. That might help him a little bit, actually. Still pulling away from those guys behind us, bit by bit. I can't make any progress with this 17 in my way. A track position is just so, so important here. And this is proof of that right here. pretty much just matting it off the corners. The car is that stable on corner exit. Especially in turn two where the wind is making it real tight. It's a bit floaty in turn four, but I can handle it. Doing pretty good laps right now. 51s are uh, pretty decent, I think. Go back here. For a long run, anyway. Not so good for a qualifying lap or a hot lap, but pretty good for being almost 15 laps into a run. thought I was going to be able to get a better exit than I'm there. Thank you. Just can't do much here. Got to break super early and can't make any moves. If I had better track position, I could probably move up, but can't right now. I'm going to try it right here. It's going to be my best opportunity. Outside. Let's try and outbreak them here. Still there. Clear high, clear there we high. go. We're gonna try the crossover, I think. He's not gonna be able to get to me though. We'll see if we were really faster than him or if I was just blown smoke. Got a big giraffe right here. I think we can outbreak him though. Let's see what can what we can do with this ten car here. Ooh, 
who I think he blew it a little bit on exit there. Well, maybe not. It looks like he's holding his time just fine, actually. Again, had to break way too early there to make any sort of move. Going to high side in the back stretch. Inside. All right. Well, there by half. I don't know what it if he's having some sort of problem or something, but now we'll really see if I, if we're faster than that 17. Maybe he just thought we were that much faster or something, I don't know. Now we'll see what we can do with clean air. These guys behind us are battling pretty intensely, so we should be able to catch up to them. Man, look at that backfire. You're right there with the bud doing a great job. Trying to follow this draft as the best I can down the back straightaway. I uh, kind of overshot the corner there. It's going to completely kill my exit. going to lower the brake bias just a tad. See, I can definitely break beyond the uh, one marker there. Whoa! Slow the bottom. Stay to the high side. Oh, All right. Caution, caution. Well, I think we got a pretty good idea of what we need here to be good on the long run. Pit road is closed. Um, we're gonna make a slight right side tire pressure increase, very, very minimal. Don't really know what these tires are gonna do yet, but gonna be a very minimal right side pressure increase, and we'll see how much it affects it. How much it affects the car is a pretty good run there. It's about 20 laps or so there. Well, maybe like 18 or 19, but... You know, I think we proved we have decent speed. Maybe not race-winning speed, but pretty good speed. And, uh, hopefully... We'll get some track position here on this pit stop and maybe take it to the front. I would love to get a little bit of extra track position, if I possibly can. That backfire is just so cool. I can't get over that, man. It's just so awesome to see. Yeah, it looks like, as far as that graphical bug I was talking about goes, it's really only the Chevys that have that bug. I see a Ford and a Toyota in front of me and they don't have that bug so I'm not quite sure. Oh, I, I see the spoiler now. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe it is just clear. I don't know. I have... I, I really have no idea. I know on the real cars they have, like, clear shark fins and stuff. I don't recall if the spoilers are like that, though. Well, either way, I don't think this is going to be a uh, fuel strategy race from here on out. We're just a little beyond that point, I think. I think everybody from here is just going to have to make it on one stop. Trying to catch up a little bit here without going too far over the limit on pit road. Trying to find my stall. There we are. A bit conservative there, but I wanted—I didn't want to make sure I uh, overshot it. Gonna lose a little bit of track position here, I think. 
Eh, we'll figure this out. Oh, beat that guy out. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess we'll see at the restart. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and try this one more time. We got a pretty decent run last time. Better than normal for this series, anyway. I think we're gonna get an even longer run this time. But, uh, we'll see what happens here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing restarted. Gonna be restarting on the outside for the first time tonight. So, not quite sure what's going to happen here exactly, but hopefully it'll be entertaining, at least. <laughs> I'll get with my that 23 car on my inside is blinking, re blinking real bad. Bit late on the gas there, personally. I'm not giving that guy any special treatment. I know he would block me if he was in front of me, so you know what? I don't really care for him that much. Whoa. Outside. Big run Clear. here. Good job. Outside. In and out. <laughs> clear, clear. One only. Still there on the Gotta board. fight for every position. Still inside. Clear. One inside. And we almost got hit there, Still big there. time. Still there. Rick, 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 Rick. Oh boy. All right. Well, we'll figure this out. Not pitting. We'll see at the restart. All right. Well, here we go again. Yeah, we got the blinker right in front of us now. So that's. This is going to be a bit of a hairy restart for me. Gonna have to be a bit conservative here. And this guy, he, he's been told he's blinking and he just refuses to acknowledge it, apparently. Well, we're gonna try to do the best we can here. Almost halfway. Hopefully we can get around this guy. Uh, we got some decent track position now. Some guys pitted on that last caution. I don't know why, but... Doesn't matter, we got track position nice now. Slightly better boat. track position anyway, so let's try and, uh, nice do this. Ready. Ready. Terrible Ready. jump again. Green flag. Get behind the safe car. Just trying to not run into that blinker and get a 4x, and just a little bit too conservative, I think. There that 23 goes, look, looking like he's about to drive off into the wall. Outside. Looks like these Still guys are there. backing off because of him now. Still outside. Clear. Well, that was a uh, pointless exchange of positions there. Ah. Uh, Out. Well, now we're gonna have to pit. Get those screws up, guys. There's screws laying right there. Get those screws up right in front of Tony. I came with an inch. Close. If you line it up behind the 20, behind the 23, yeah. behind, behind the 23. Out. Yeah, you did, Justin. I mean, you. I was right behind you, and I. You blinked just for a second, and you came back, and I was in you. I mean, you really gotta figure this thing out, dude. It's really bad. He, now he's just being an asshole because he doesn't want to get rid of his track position because he's warping so bad. It's just in consideration. Typic typical for this car. So be it. Well, we're gonna have to give up all that yeah, track position now. Last week during the B car, so it ain't something new, dude. Well, I mean, I can't help it, folks. So. Yes, he can. Get the hell out the way because we they can't even race you. If they can't see where you are, it can't race you. Simple as that. There goes my freaking nose. Wait, Kirby, did you get involved in that? Yeah, I was. I made the mistake. I was trying to <laughs> got the rest of my damage fixed, and yeah, 
track got blocked as soon as I got there. The road's open. That sucks, dude. You're fast. Well, I was trying to figure this out, guys. But, you know, if Another wonderful uh, anyway, position that we've been put in. Warping and he doesn't say nothing. Typical NIS. Well, what he said was, I can't help the... Hey, Prater, it's bad enough that on some laps we're lucky to see you over maybe half of the lap. Keep taking care of your equipment too. And that's not if he's like sliding halfway across the track in the middle of a turn. Sliding up the track through cars, it's all kinds of craziness. Well, this, uh, this optional's not too it's bad, better, but we there's no reason we should even have yeah, that. A lot of good cars that's got that's taken that's out in that that's wreck. Just crap. Lack of sportsmanship. Yeah. Well, we'll get this fixed oh, yes, and sir. we'll see you at the restart, I guess. Well, here we go again. They're still fighting in uh, voice chat over that. Surprisingly, we didn't lose much track position from uh, trying to fix that optimal. We only lost about five positions total, but uh, that warper is still in way in front of us. I don't know how he got there, but he's in the top five somehow, and we're in a really bad spot if he causes another accident. So, uh, let's try this again. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay low on the track for you guys behind me. A lot less competition now, I'll tell you that much. For a black flag. Fly back in your seat, buddy. We'll get Fly another chance at, uh, getting a decent restart you're here. Ready here. Ready. God, every restart, I'm so slow. I think my reaction times are just... Terrible, honestly. Inside. Clear low. Inside. Man. This clear, could not clear, get clear, to the clear, bottom clear. there. Inside. At your door. Still inside. Whoa. Inside is clear. One car getting a little loose. Oh, cross over here. Maybe we can do it. We can outbreak Working these guys. Top. Maybe. No, not this time. Oh, he overshot the corner a ton. <laughs> I kind of forced him to do that. Clear. Maybe we'll get more than one lap of racing in this run. That would be nice. Oh, I had my uh, voice chat on. So we're kind of back where we were at the beginning of the race, you know. Trying to find our way back into the top ten, faster than a lot of the cars in front of us, but not much of a way to get around them. I'm trying to work the draft as best I can here. And again, having to break real early for these guys. be able to beat this guy yeah, off yeah. corner exit. Well, maybe not this time, but I think we're better than him on corner exit anyway. Probably can't go ahead. You don't know where you're at. Okay, just drop it. I'm not blinking. And I actually raced it to the and I'll be so tired. I'll be busy. Outside. Clear, clear, clear. I'll tell you what, if I get to that yeah, 23, I'm going to turn him. I've had enough of them. No problem. This motor on by on the inside 25. Causes, a, causes gives me a 4x and then continues to run his mouth, even though he knows his connection is horrible, but... Get a big wake off this damaged 27 car here. Still there, still there. Clear high. We don't really have that much damage. I think it's more cosmetic than anything. Oh man, he pounded the wall a ton. 
Outside. Made me real nervous there, and I got loose myself. Still out there. Clear. That's what me getting loose there was all about. <laughs> Man, we can just break so much deeper than these guys in both corners. Turn one and turn three, I mean, obviously you don't really break in turn two. Uh, go ahead, John. Thanks, Jeff. I wasn't trying to jump on you earlier, or anyone else for that matter. Kind of watching that oil temperature. I notice it's up, going up just a little bit. I oh, don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, it's starting to go down a little bit. Maybe that's just me being on the throttle. Oh, I'm going to get blocked in here. That's alright. Just going to take my time. Go ahead, people. Outside. Well, now he realizes he's being a fucking nuisance, because everybody was chewing him out over voice chat, and finally he's starting to let people go, and we are back to the top ten. Working the draft as best I can here. So we won't have to worry about that 23 for a little bit at least. Just want to hope for a nice long run here at the end of this thing. That would be absolutely perfect for me, I think. Definitely going to have to do one more pit stop regardless of uh, what happens here. Yep, that's a good. Thank you. Hey Michael, you can go low here. Go ahead and get low and pull it out. Outside. Go back. Clear. Thank Stop. you. Right, no problem. You notice I said thank you to him, but not to the 23. <laughs> Let's go chase that 20 down now. We can get these guys, I think. I, that 17's up there. He's knocking on a top five position, and I know we're faster than him. Oil temperatures seem to be okay. Actually, I'm looking at the water temperature. Well, the oil temperature is pretty hot, too, but I think we'll be okay. We're in clean air now, so it won't be, like, super hot. Go ahead, dude. Always found this corner very hard to judge turn two. Very hard to judge the uh, proper line I've found. Typically, Not bad. having trouble with Go it again in this race, as is yeah, normal for me cool. here. Looks like some guys are making scheduled green flag stops. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait till the tank runs dry and see what we got. I think there will be another caution before this thing is over, so we'll see what happens here. Man, 
Man, that leader is way out front. I want to stay out as long as I possibly can. Hopefully this 27 won't be in the way. These lappers who are just coming off a of pit road won't be in our way. But again, these are pretty good times to be turning on the long run. I'm not really driving super hard right now. Just trying to take care of my tires and see what we can get on the long run here. Caught up pretty nicely to that 20 car. A bit of aero tight there, but we're okay. See if we can get a run here. I don't think so, but we're gonna try it. Side. Oh there God! I, <laughs> I had no idea some of these lap cars were where they were. Uh oh. Outside. Clear. Catching those. Yeah, uh, those guys. Just hanging around the top five, too. I hope I didn't mess you up, Vic. I was just trying to make a pass. I guess they're battling kind of hard right now, good. but... Still, we're catching them, so that's always good. And we can just mat it off the corner. Feels really good. Man, that 20 is getting real tight. And that was a bad idea. No way I, I would have been able to take that run. But I saw him get real tight in turn one and ha kind of ha had to see if it would work. And it just didn't. Yeah, we're way faster than him through the center. Yeah, I guess he figured he's getting too tight, so you know he's gonna go ahead and take his final green flag stop. Gotta hope this thing goes green to the end. That's gonna be what'll be best for me, I think. If we get a caution between now and before the time I plan on my green flag stop, that won't be very good for me. We're going to be back there behind those guys again, and track position is not going to be so good, but I think we this thing can go green to the end. So we're going to go ahead and stick with it. We are better on the long run than a lot of these guys, so no reason not to go ahead and try it if we can. I think we're just better than a lot of these guys, period. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, a little tight there, trying to get a little too much out of it, bit too greedy there. I'm starting to get a little tight on corner entry. Put that brake bias down just a little. Oh man, I think I killed my tires. Oh, uh, you know what? I think we're going to consider pitting maybe next time around. Yeah, just getting too tight. Next time around, we'll pit. Depending on uh, the gap we make up on the six car here. I was trying to figure this out if it's me or the car starting to give up. It would be a pretty good time to pit if we uh, got an opportunity here. We're actually catching those guys in front of us now. Pitting this lap, pitting this lap. Yeah, a lot of guys are pitting. No, we're gonna pit. Get it here, Finn. Okay, two car pitting, two car pitting. Yeah, everybody's coming really down cooking? now. Oh, really conservative entry on the pit road there. That's going to cost us some time. Four tires and fuel. Finish this thing off, hopefully. Hopefully we won't get screwed and have the caution come out while we're on pit road. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> Nice and easy. Alright. I don't think this will be a very fast stop, but I think we'll uh, be able to get the job done here. Four tires and fuel, no reason not to. It's more than half a run to go. Not a great stop, but I'll take it. Well, I have to take it. I mean, it's not like I have an option. <laughs> Obviously, those leaders don't want to uh, pet until the very last second. They want to put as many cars off the lead lap as possible. Outside. Go out there. Clear. Okay, so I'll let you go back and forth. Okay. Outside. Still Clear high. Well, there goes one of the leaders in. He re he's starting to realize now that, uh... Tire's starting to go away. I think we were a little too aggressive with the tires on that run. Could have maybe done a slightly better job of saving there. Not being so aggressive on the uh, short run there. Starting to catch back up to the six car though. Got a, a lot of uh, different pit strategies going on right now so not totally sure what's gonna happen here. See if we can help this six car out. If we can get alongside the 20, we'll be able to close up on them. Ooh, 49.8. That's not a terrible lap.
We'll be able to get a good run on the 20 here. Pass left. Outside. On your clear. That means you know, we're faster right now. Thank you. What are you doing, man? What the hell was that, Johnny? Die bombing all these. Oh, somebody real slow oh, there, down in turn one. You're out of gas. Oh shit! I'm in a real I bad spot going here. Down. I thought someone's going on my pedal. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> that was kind of close. <laughs> He's gonna bring out a caution though. Yeah. Don't be up in the dust. Leader's on Get real old tires way. here, and now uh, got in our way Why there. All of a sudden, the car stopped going. Clear inside. Five car really given up. I love the dynamics that play out on a long run in oval races Outside. compared to uh, short runs. That leader stayed out a little too long on. Uh, Johnny, where you at on track? Pit Road, I think. I mean, he stayed out too long on the track. He's going to lose time because of that. So maybe we'll have a sh shot at passing him. Stayed out just a little too long on old tires, I think. Man, sixth place is way ahead of us. Well, if there was ever a time to uh, start using up our stuff, then that would be it. Looking pretty good here, though. Top 10. Had a top 10 car all race, but... Try and figure this out. I don't know how. I'm trying to figure that out right now. We are catching the, those guys out in the top five, though. I don't know how, but we're doing it. Outside. Still there. We were able to take advantage of that 17, going a little high there. Now we'll set our sights back on that 6 and see if we can get him. I'll tell you what though, this is one of the more enjoyable NIS races I've been in since, well, Sonoma. <laughs> That six car got big time loose there. Be able to pull a big draft on him this time. Yep. Breaking a bit early there. Trying to put those left sides below the white line. Oh! <laughs> He got a outside. big, he got big time okay. loose there. Still outside. Clear up top. Well, let's try and get top five now, guys. Got 11 laps to close up a 4.6 second gap. I don't know if we can do it, but we'll keep trying here. Starting to think that we had a uh, fire pass to compromise. Or rather, sixth, apparently. I had someone going in for and make home a high pressure for like 85. Man, for the first time in a few weeks though, I feel like I'm really, like, really well and truly competitive for once though. This is fun. Cut half half a second or so out of the three car that lap. 
I don't know how, but... I don't know, we can maybe catch him if this thing stays green. Top 5 is not out of reach, I don't think, just yet. Oh, this is going to slow us up a bit. That was probably the worst place I could have caught that lap car. Now the 6 is going to catch up slightly. He's got our toe now. Ten laps, ten laps to go yeah. this time. Yeah. The best thing you can do after this wreck is to sit down and compare the names that they have connected to the names that uh, is racing. A little tight there. The back will happen. The car is not feeling like optimal right now, but it's pretty good, I think. We can, we can still chase down that three car, I think. Bernie, been careful, didn't get scratched on it, probably going to get top five, and then that happened. I had no clue it was going to run out of gas. I wasn't even trying to like take less gas. I thought I'd taken a full thing and we're good to go. I, I'm blown away. Somebody dislikes you bad enough to compromise your spotter password and take your gas out of your car, I man, that sucks. Man, we can really mat it off the corner. Should have not put so much fuel in it. I think that's given me a bit of a disadvantage right now. Overshot that corner. Wasn't paying good enough attention to my breaking points there. It's not going to pop up. That six car is pretty equal with us now. We got the track position though. What you got there, bud? Fifteen, don't worry about me back here. I know you guys are racing for position in front of me. I'm just gonna ride behind you. Uh, getting a little tight. That's not good. <laughs> Didn't make it, huh? Yeah, we're gonna give it up clear, here. Clear, clear. Hope we can Leaders stay in this toe or something. I'll see what we can get here. I knew he was gonna pass me, so I kind of just let him ha have it back since he was courteous enough to give it to me when I was slower. Man, I really sh probably shouldn't have done that. I think I'm way faster than him now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a, that's just placebo effect or something. I think we can get him back, though. But, I mean, I knew he was going to pass me regardless of whether I lifted there or not. I don't want to do that. So I just figured it would be easier to let him have it. I'm going to lower that brake bias just a little bit, try and help us on corner entry there. I think that's one thing that's hurting me there. Curious if these leaders are uh, close to running out or not. Yeah, I don't think we're going to catch fourth, but we can get a top five here. Oh. <laughs> Outside. All right. Well, Outside. we're not giving up the spot now. Still there outside. Clear high. Alright, baby, now let's get that rhythm. Five to go. 
He'll have the advantage of the tow, but I think we'll be okay. Oh man, the race is over. <laughs> man, well, we got a top five out of that. That's pretty good. I don't believe we'll uh, get to restart here, but yeah, that's the end of the race. Unfortunately, no green light checker in I racing. Well, if you're unfamiliar with iRacing, racing, so that's the end of the race. Yeah, it's not bad. I, it's and I'm looking at the uh, winner of the Eldora truck race. I'm quite surprised to see who it is. I know anyone who did that on purpose. up behind the gate. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think this build we're gonna rebound a little bit after the the poor last few weeks ever since Sonoma really. But that was pretty fun. That was a pretty uh, fun race. We had some decent I long runs for once. How do I put a well, slash I found here? Out what happened now. Crew chief moved good the fun racing fuel with you. To just enough to top it off. Smiley on the last off. face. Uh, we were, when we had that one short caution at like 14 gallons. <laughs> it to like 3.4. Uh, man, um, I don't foresee us getting a uh, one to go here. And if I do, I'm not going to pit. <laughs> but man, top five is going to be uh, very welcome here. Obviously, I would have liked to yeah, win, open. but you, know, you, <laughs> you can't win them all. But I'll take a top five after the poor last few outings we had, I mean, I mean, 18th, 21st, and 19th were Kentucky, Daytona, and New Hampshire, so I'll definitely take the top five. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. But yeah, nice long run to end the race. I know uh, we didn't actually finish under green. Got the lucky dog. Let them by. On the outside. But uh, that was pretty fun. I'm looking forward to the uh, rest of the races on this build. I mean, I know we had a few problem drivers, but uh, you know that that's going to happen regardless of uh, how good everybody else drives. Uh, I'm just happy we got through that relatively cleanly and. Uh, I think this is my best ever result in a uh, stock car race at Indy, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I think we had a slightly better car. I think if we had better track position earlier on, I think we could have maybe challenged for the win even. Definitely could have gotten a top three, I think, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with fifth. I mean, I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. It was a fun race. Glad to get a decent points day out of it. Not much shatter on the radio tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh... We just barely missed out on the uh, next highest split. I should have uh, farmed a little more super late model racing, maybe. <laughs> and gotten my eye rating a little higher maybe would have even gotten more points. I think we could have gotten the top 10 in the next highest split. I'm guessing the next highest split is the second split. But it was a, f it was a fun race. Definitely not dissatisfied with that. Uh, definitely happy with the top 5. Like, and like I said, I would have loved to win, but you know, like I said again, can't win them all. <laughs> no, it's going to be... Uh, a boring pacing finish. I think five cautions is gonna end it. That's gonna be the final caution count, I think, which isn't too bad, but probably could have dealt with more green flag runs. Who's the winner? The seven car. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> And Jeff is um, 
right behind me in point, so it's going to be very close between me and him in the points. I mean, we're not really competing for, like, any important spot. I mean, we're back in, like, the 70s overall, I think, but it... We're very close in points, and I know I want to beat him. <laughs> but unfortunately, he's going to gain a little more than us this week, I guess. I will uh, try again next week. <laughs> next week is going to be another uh, repeat track, going to be Pocono. I, I think I've figured out the trick to uh, Pocono this time. I... I, th I think this time I'll know the correct line around Pocono. Last time I really didn't, and it kind of lucked into a uh, sixth place finish at Pocono. But I think this time I I've got it better figured out. I, you know, if we if the speed here is any indication, we'll have good speed at Pocono too. And then in a couple of weeks it's Watkins Glen the uh, second road course and we know how the last road course race turned out so you know uh, looking forward to the next couple of weeks here and I think the racing will be a lot cleaner with the uh, with the improved tire model and uh, kind of a snarky comment I think the next couple of weeks to finish out the season will be better with an improved tire model and uh, seems a lot cleaner overall I'm driving with one foot here <laughs> as we uh, limp to the finish here but yeah uh, I mean happy to take home a uh, relatively clean car. I mean, at this point, it's just filler, really. <laughs> you might as well just skip to the very end of the video. Or you could close it now. I mean, you'll know where I finish. One more. Short of any major catastrophe or something. Yeah, glad to uh, give you guys another race. I know some of you probably didn't even bother to watch those super late model races I did, but that, that car is a lot of fun, and I think it's a little better now with the uh, current build. Definitely a lot, a lot less snappy loose with the new build, as far as I saw in, in my own testing with that car. I mean... I mean, again, uh, there are only two races at Concord when official, so uh, once the uh, next season starts, next week or so, why not give it a try if you're uh, so inclined? <laughs> it's a really fun car. This is a fun car, too, but I mean, that's just like on a different level, on a totally different level, kind of hyped about that car. I want to run a full season in that car once this season is over. Yeah... I'm done babbling here, I think. Um, yeah, I mean... Just filler to uh, get this thing done with. We'll, we'll take a look at some of the replays while... Uh, while we get this all sorted out. All right. Well, final turn at Indy. I'm gonna be very pleased with a uh, top five result. Should get over 200 points. Should be a good finish anyway. Probably not gonna gain too much in the way of I rating, seeing as I'm the number two car in a 28 car field. But you know that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> I think we did okay. Alright. Well, I think we're going to just pull off to the side here. And take a look at some of these replays. Good job, bro. Good hard fight. Alright. I think the, the one I really want to see is uh, whenever that contact was on, like, lap 36 or something. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, why don't we start with lap 
37, and then, uh, where was that guy? Okay, it must have been here, so, okay, so, what happened, as you can see, as you can see the nice backfire once again, uh, unscrewing my wheel here, as you can see, I'm running right behind the 23, who is blinking a bit. Did he... Oh, he didn't blink. Um, he just got loose there. He caught that little bit of the apron there, and he got really loose. I was just kind of too close to check up to him. You can see I was out of the gas here, but just just not enough time to react. And then the uh, 14 car is nowhere to go. And then he gets run over by the 4. <laughs> And that causes the whole stack up, and that's what causes the big wreck here. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny that those guys got wrecked unfairly, but, uh... You know, that's racing sometimes. <laughs> big log jam at the exit of turn 4 there, but... You know, there once we got that damage fixed, I didn't notice any more damage there. I mean, yeah, they did a pretty good job of, uh fixing that nose and getting that spoiler back on the ground there. <laughs> Let's see that pass for fifth, too, at the very end of the race. The, the very end of gl green flag racing, anyway. Yeah, I mean, got a nice run here. A bit loose off the corner, but no big deal. He was really tight off the corner, and I was able to get the run on him. And there we go. And not long after that, the caution came out and the race was over. <laughs> so yeah, uh, not a very eventful race, probably, but uh, good to get a decent result out of that. So, like I said, next race is Pocono. We'll see you all then. Until next week, take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>